hello all i hope you're going doing good so today in this video uh, we are going to see how to delete the related records so recently i have come across this question in one of my videos so someone commented this so i thought of creating a new video for this uh, yeah so there this is my use case so i have a case and issue as a separate object case and uh, issue object are related and whenever my case gets closed right so all the related issues with that uh, case like uh, i i have multiple issues associated with the case and we have different status on this issues as well right so the cancel status issues should get deleted and the issues with the pending status needs to be updated as completed so if you see here so this is my case record and i have a related object as issues here if you see i have two records here so one with pending and cancelled the status of uh, these records so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a flow uh, to delete this cancelled one since it is not needed since uh, that is cancelled and changing the status of this pending record to completed when my case status is completed so we have different status here new working accelerator and completed so as soon as this case marked as completed this pending should get updated to uh, completed and the cancelled one has to be deleted so this is my requirement uh, let's start with the flow. I'm going to create a new flow. Let's choose record trigger flow and as usual I'm going to opt free form. And you know, uh, with this winter 2022 release, I'm in winter 22 uh, release edition. So they have updated the uh, layout with fast field and action related records. So previously we used to have before and after trigger, but now they have uh, optimized to this one. Like they have given the description, you can uh, very well read it and choose whatever the action you wanted to do with that flow so for us it has to be after after the record marked as completed then uh, this flow should get fired so i am choosing this and whenever the record is created or updated oh boy, and select the object uh, it has to be from case okay okay and my condition is status of the case equals completed right so when when the status of the case is completed this flow will get triggered that's it and so after this we have to get the related issues from this case so let's use get records get. related issues from the issue object So our condition is I have case lookup on my uh, issue object. So this is my lookup field case. It should equal to record ID. My case on the issue should be equal to the exact case ID. So that is it and i'm going to be 
yeah i'm going to need all the records and let's leave as is automatically store all fields and then we have to use the loops since you see we have two issues right in some cases i have 10 issues or 100 issues so in such cases we have to use loop So in loop, let's call it as loop. So my collection variable is from the get issues. So I have to select that and remaining assets, first item to the last item, leave it. Then, so after this loop, I'm gonna need this decision element uh, it is to decide like for pending it has to be uh, updated to completed and for cancel it has to be deleted so I'm using decision uh, here I'm just naming as condition and label would be Cancelled. So for cancelled, I have to choose the record from the loop. Loop status is cancelled. And let's add another label for pending. And loop status equals pending okay that's all here so first let's do the update and Specify the condition, object would be issue, ID would be the loop ID. Hope you are following whatever I am doing, right? So, he in this update record, I am uh, choosing the object issue and it has to update the ID from the loop, right? So uh, the ID has to be matched. So that's it. And the status to completed. So this is for pending. This is for pending. And for Cancel loan, we have to delete it. Here, I'm not going to add object at all. I'm just use, going to use the collection since the collection record will have the records to be deleted since we are using the condition so only the condition match it going to execute this action so i'm just going to use this loop that's it and i'll map it cancel okay so this is done so i'm going to create one dummy assignment so that this loop will keep on execute. Uh, everyone will have some other way, but I have this way. Okay. I'm gonna create new resource. Next, 
calculates it i'm not going to assign any values it's it is just to um, use this assignment to pick up the next record from that loop that's it This is then it has to be connected to this and this and from here to the loop. Hope that makes sense. And to uh, so it will just keep on uh, this loop will keep on execute, right? So we have to stop this flow just copy the same like this and you know just say end of flow use the same test variable and save it I hope this makes sense but if at all you have any questions just feel free to add it on your comments so let's save this okay let's do the debug before activating this flow i'm gonna debug this i'm gonna choose the case so this is the case we have we have two issues here let's run it seems some problem let's see Status equals completed. Okay, <laughs> got it. So here the status was not completed, right? So that's high. It got well. Let's do this. Let's activate and see. I have activated it. And where is the case record? So I'm going to make this as completed. So for now, we have this two different status, right? So pending and cancelled. So now once I click, once I change the status to completed, one, one record has to be deleted and the other one marked as completed. Let's see if that's happening. Cool, something happened. You know, the pending one got completed and the other one got deleted. That's it. So this is what's happening. So first it is getting the related issues from the case object. And then in this loop, we are getting all the records. And from this related, um, sorry, from this decision box, we are giving our condition whether if it is pending, it has to go here to update the record as completed. And then it will go to the assignment and it will come for come come to look for a next record in the loop and then the second record is cancelled issue uh, status is cancelled so it is executing this block and it is going to the assignment and it is coming back and then all the uh, loop elements like uh, the records in the loop have completed then it is moving to the this assignment it's end of flow that's it so that's all here well let me know if you have any questions i'll i'll be happy to help you